Today I'm taking a look at a new running backpack, the Camelback Octane 18. Six point six three miles, eight minutes, twenty eight seconds per mile, one hundred and forty six beats per minute today for my run commute home in the Camelback Octane eighteen. Uh, ended up being a really great day to test out this backpack for a first run. Uh, but before I get into that, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pack that was sent to me, so I didn't have to pay for it. Uh, but no one's paying me to use the pack or to make this video, and no one's going to get a chance to preview any of this footage before this video goes up on YouTube. Now, with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about this. Camelback Octane 18. I think this is a new pack from Camelback. I think the Octane series is one that has existed for a little while, uh, but I think now it comes in a larger size. And for me, uh, 15 is liters is kind of the smaller end of what I think a person could run commute in. Uh, the normal pack that I run in is 21 liters. This one is 18 liters, so it's kind of in the middle. Uh, and I've got it pretty loaded up for the kinds of stuff that I normally bring on my run commutes. Uh, you might have more or less than me, uh, but I think that uh, I have this thing relatively full. So I wanna go over what I put in it today and what it felt like to run with it and kind of my overall thoughts for the material. Overall, the bag is really light. The material all seems very lightweight, but also a lot of it is the ripstop material. So I think it's going to be really durable as well. Basically, there are a couple of, there's one giant main compartment here, and then there's a smaller compartment, and then there's just some outer pockets and front uh, storage as well. It's been really nice. So let's just kind of go over what I put in there as I talk about the pack. Today was a relatively warm day for Chicago in the winter. So while I ran home in tights and shorts, I did have an extra pair of warm-up pants uh, from TCA that I really like that I had in there. Um, just for my commuting in the morning. So I wasn't like walking around in, in tights. Um, some snacks that I packed for myself and my daughter. Uh, today was uh, a long day where my daughter went to school, then after school programs. And then I picked her up and we took her straight to gymnastics. So there were some snacks in here. Um, my glasses case, uh, that's uh, where my glasses, I usually wear contacts as I'm running. So the glasses case goes in here as well. And then the big part of it was uh, my jacket. My jacket, I have a puffy green jacket that uh, compresses and packs down into this. This is what I usually wear after I get to where I'm going. I usually get a little bit chilly uh, after the run, but I also, uh, it's still winter time, and after my run commute, I'm not always running straight home, so I'll need to wear a jacket. So that's what I have that for. And then I have uh, a packing cube, which has uh, some uh, work clothes in it. I usually keep a suit at work, but I'll switch in um, socks, ties, uh, undershirts, and dress shirts in there. So that's what's in there. Um, and then we've got um, epinephrine. My daughter has a peanut allergy, so uh, I always carry epinephrine with me wherever I go. So the ca pocket in here is pretty cavernous. I was pretty surprised by it uh, when I opened it in there, but it's kind of a top-loading 
giant uh, cylinder of uh, storage area. What is nice though is there are two stash pockets in here that are pretty deep. So what I was able to put in there are, uh, I usually put in little things like after I'm done running, here's my Polar OH1 uh, heart rate monitor. So I put that in there, a uh, nice spot for it so I don't lose it. And then on this side, I had uh, my wallet. And then I also, no, oh, that's it. I think I also had my keys in there, but my keys are somewhere else now. But uh, I think I also had keys in there as well for while I was running. So that all kind of stayed up top, uh, relatively easy to reach, but still very secure in these uh, stretchy pockets. On the main outer pocket, there's also a stash area, a giant mesh stash area here. And the forecast called for rain potentially. And so uh, I did bring uh, a thin rain layer with me and I stashed that in there. So that way I can just hurry up and grab it if it ended up raining. It ended up didn't, fortunately. Um, so, uh, but it was there in case I needed it. Then on the sides, there are two larger pockets. So if I wanted to put in a water bottle or stash some other gear for quick access, that's something that I definitely could have done there. Uh, and then there's two cinch cables, one on each side. So that way, if I didn't have a completely full pack, I could cinch it down and make sure everything stayed really tight so it's not too much jostling around as I'm running. The other main compartment that there is here is uh, for a water bladder and that this pack definitely comes with one uh, a two liter water bladder uh, with a very quick open uh, lid so you could dump water in there quickly if uh, that's something that you are concerned with i'm usually not i haven't run with a water bladder for a long time probably years um, but uh, i definitely think that i'll be getting some use out of this one come this summertime or maybe even this winter uh, as I start getting ready for the marathon after this next marathon. So uh, that's something that came with it. I didn't get a chance to use it today. It was a relatively short run. Um, and then here's the compartment inside uh, that's separate from that large outer compartment that I had everything else in, the dog's drinking water. And so it goes all the way to the bottom and it's a little bit padded here to protect uh, you from the rest of the pack. Uh, but because it's padded in there, this will probably most likely for me be used as a uh, laptop sleeve kind of area. So I can see myself putting my laptop, which is a MacBook, uh, or if I have a tablet or both with me, uh, I could definitely put that in there as well. Something else that I somewhat regularly will run commute with is my camera, this one here. I also use it at work as well. So sometimes that goes in the bag. It wasn't in there on this particular day, um, but that's what I had in terms of what goes on in the back. Now, in terms of the front, it's probably easier if I put on the pack so I can show it to you. There are uh, ample places to store things uh, on the front. And this is where this pack uh, definitely is a little bit more running pack than it is run commute pack. It's more of like a, a running vest that you can run commute in. Uh, and there's just tons of area for storage up here. There's um, you know places where you can route uh, and hook up your uh, tubing from your water bladder too. That's So that's all here. Uh, but you've got two bigger pockets in case you have uh, soft flasks that you wanna put up in front. The last couple of years, I mentioned that I haven't been using a water bladder and that's because I've been using soft flasks. I like that they're in the front and I can have quick access to them as I'm running. Although and my opinion may be changing on that. So that's why I'm excited to have this water bladder. Um, but that's something that you can definitely put in there. Um, and then there are a second set of pockets on top of that. I put my phone in here on this particular run, which was nice because normally I put it in this one of these side pockets in my other running pack. Um, what's nice about putting it here is for the winter is that I can still feel where the volume buttons are. And so then I don't have to worry about pressing uh, my earbuds to change volume or like yelling at Siri to change the volume for me. So I can do that from here, that was nice. And this is actually a really comfortable place to put the phone. Uh, I had it, I've had it be in different like pockets in the front before. And sometimes I have a really like prominent collarbone and sometimes I get rubbing, chafing or, or just bruises. So having it down here was actually really a nice place to put it. Um, on this side, there is a soft pocket, which I think is probably best for the tops of all your gels. Um, it can go in there easily. It's a wide pocket, but the opening is relatively small. Um, so whatever gets in there is gonna stay in there. On this particular run, I had the case uh, for my earbuds, the Drabra Elite 75T that I put in there. So that way when I was done running, I can quickly just put the earbuds away. That was nice. Normally I have to put them in the back and then I have to take the pack off, 
and all that. This was a lot easier. Uh, then there's also a zipper pocket up front, which is nice and very roomy. I could have put a card or something else in there uh, if I needed to. There's extra lining on the back. I don't know if it's waterproof here or not, um, but uh, there's also a second layer in there too, so it's like a divider. So if you did need to put something that needed to stay a bit drier, I think in this front area probably would work, like if you needed to store cash, uh, and then if you needed to store cards or other smaller thin things, I think that would go in really well there, or possibly keys, another great option for that zipper pocket. So lots of pockets in there, lots of adjustability, which was nice. Uh, and there's also a whistle. Uh, which, uh, as far as I understand, I don't know personally, but my understanding is a lot of races uh, where you would need a pack like this need you to have a whistle on board. So uh, that's also there as well. So for today's run, today was a bit of a dress rehearsal for the Houston Marathon. The temperatures in Chicago were a little bit warm or very warm for, for January. It was in the high 40s and there was that large chance of rain, like 50% chance of rain. So it was quite humid as well at least as far as Chicago in the winter could be. So I was testing out a long sleeve shirt because I was considering that. I was testing out some tights and shorts options uh, that I was looking at. I have a long sleeve from TCA that I've been really liking. Uh, it is designed to let a lot of heat out and it's very stretchy. So it's almost like kind of having like arm sleeve material, but for an entire shirt. So I was testing that out. It ended up being a little bit warm, I think, because it's gonna be a little bit warmer than it was today in Houston. Um, and then I also tested out some tights and shorts options. The shorts were also from TCA, uh, deep pockets with zippers, testing out if I could store some gels in there. Um, I think those are going to be pretty good. I may, I'm still not sure if I'm going to go with tights or, um, half tights, uh, for the marathon, but we'll see. Um, but the other thing that I did for testing those things was I did have a one by two mile interval at kind of a goal marathon heart rate. Uh, so trying to stay in that 160 to 165 range, closer to kind of 160. Uh, and I ended up coming in at about 655 uh, per mile for those two miles on average, uh, which meant I had to get moving relatively quick with all my stuff and pack loaded in. And so that was a really good test for how well this stuff can be held in by this pack. And I think it did great. So all these uh, straps, normally I'm really annoyed by all the like, extra straps that are in packs. Um, but for this one, because I had gloves on, I kind of didn't mind. And so as I was running, if I needed to adjust it, I could always just grab it really easily with my glove, cinch everything down really nice and tight. And then for the uh, shoulder straps in terms of the fit with the back of the pack, uh, I could reach down relatively easily kind of where my kidneys are. There's strappings down there uh, that are kind of rubber band tied in uh, as they came in the package. I don't know if those rubber bands are supposed to come off or not. I'm gonna leave them there uh, because it made for a nice like kind of pull cord for uh, getting the pack nice and cinched down from the back. I didn't have to adjust these straps at all once I started running fast. Uh, but this one, this top one is one that always gets loose for me for no matter what pack I have on. This I did have to kind of adjust one extra time to make it extra tight uh, as I was running. Uh, this bottom one stayed fine. You can adjust them up and down because they're on rails here. Uh, but I felt like the fit was really dialed in. Um, I felt like the pack distributed the weight nicely along the back and I felt really comfortable with it for my run commute home, even though it was pretty loaded up. The one thing that I think uh, losing that three liters from my normal 21 liter pack to this pack is that I mentioned that I was going to pick up my daughter and take her to a gym class. Normally when I do that, I also stop by Jimmy John's to pick up a couple of sandwiches, uh, one for her and one for me to eat uh, before her class starts. It starts at 6.30 in the evening, it's, it's kind of late. Um, I did that today, but I didn't think I could get them in the pack with all my other stuff and not completely kind of like destroy the sandwiches. So I did have to kind of run with the sandwiches. Um, which it wasn't far. It's only like a couple more blocks from the sandwich place to her school, but Jimmy John's, uh, they're not sponsored. So they didn't pay to be in this video or for me to stop there before I picked up my daughter in this video. Um, but if they do want to sponsor a video, I would love that Jimmy John's hit me up. Um, their motto is freaky fast. So, um, their sandwiches always get delivered and made really quickly. 
And so I feel like it's, um, there's a lot of synergy that could happen there. Um, hopefully we can make that work. But uh, back to the pack, I'm really enjoying the pack. It fits really great. I just like having it on, um, very comfortable. And uh, I'm looking forward to the adventures that I can have in, in this pack. I'll be run commuting with it uh, for the next while. So you'll be seeing a lot in a lot of my videos. Before I go, I wanna remind you guys about the charity runner for this week. This week, it's Thomas Conabare, who's gonna be running the London Marathon and raising money for the Meningitis Research Foundation. I was happy to donate $70 to Thomas's fundraising efforts. And I'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?